So, from your knowledge, do you believe that growing up in Silicon Valley is any different from growing up in different parts of America? Definitely. It definitely is because a majority of the people here have money and even the poverty line here, like I remember hearing some, something like in San Francisco the poverty line is I think 95000 a year or something like that. How do you feel growing up in Silicon Valley is different from growing up in other places in America? Um, you're brainwashed to think that there's only one kind of success in the world and that it is going to a school like Stanford or Berkeley and getting straight A's and then becoming a doctor or a tech person or a STEM person and literally like it will mess with kids heads. I did think that I was like not able to get into college and all this stuff but it's actually a myth. Um, I think definitely yeah. The wealth, like there, it's like way different in terms of like other countries and or not countries, sorry states, and like we have like something. This is like literally the richest place to live in, so I feel like that definitely changes things in terms of like growing up experience because like we're so used to like seeing more wealth in our daily lives. But yeah, I think we definitely do have a lot more opportunities here, and obviously a lot more money um i guess one big difference is i feel like a lot of people's problems here are invalidated because um people have money and it's kind of assumed that when you have money you don't have problems i think the difference between growing up in silicon valley and other places is that it will <laughs> raise your kid in an environment that is very competitive and that will cause them to compare themselves to other people for the rest of their life. I feel like that's kind of the thing. It's very competitive and that's not healthy for children like at all. I feel like that kind of messed with my head too. So, are you happy living in Silicon Valley? Yes and no. I feel like, obviously I'm really grateful to live here because I have a lot, like more than other people. Like it's a really nice place to live, but I think a lot of it needs to change. Like the people here are, they very vouch for being like super, I don't know, like anti-racist and stuff, but we still have like a lot of stuff that we need to work on. And like, a, there's still a lot of discrimination that isn't really talked about as much as it should. So yeah, we need to work on being more progressive. Um, okay, would you say you're happy living here? Um, I'm definitely really grateful for living here. I really like my neighborhood and I like the opportunities I'm given and I like the school that I go to. Well, actually, I like the opportunities my school gives me. I don't really like a lot about the school, but for the most part, I am very grateful for living here. It just gets a little bit annoying to, I remember one time I was at my friend's house and he was like, Imagine not having your own bathroom. That's just so weird. And I was like, okay. So I guess dealing with the people here can sometimes be annoying. But I'd say I do like living here. I don't know if I'd stay here forever, though. How do you feel like living here has messes with like kids' mental health and that kind of thing? <laughs> well, I mean, we obviously see, you know, everybody here is absolutely miserable and dying because of it, so there clearly is a problem and I think it has a lot to do with the culture of just kind of like grind, 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 and like no breaks, only money. Like that's not what life is about actually. <laughs> and in a lot of other places in the world and even the country, it just, people don't function like that. I think the effect that like, yeah, it has on kids is just, it makes, your brain extremely competitive and it makes you unable to like value your own successes and what's success for you because it might not be like the greatest success of like inventing something at eight years old as a Silicon Valley, you know, whatever. And I'm just grateful that we have like abundant food and housing and water and stuff like that. And then also like technology. We have like I think pretty advanced technology here which is nice. What do you like about Silicon Valley? Well, the weather, 
I barely like the weather, actually. It's No, I, I like the weather. I like the weather. I like the weather. The weather and the fact that it's pretty racially diverse-ish. Eh. That's it, though. Everything else about it, I think, is really toxic and harmful. Do you want to stay in Silicon Valley after high school? No. No. I would be in such poverty, first of all. Um, I just know I don't want to live with the people here forever. Like, I want to see what else there is out there. And, um, I, I, I can't say this without offending a lot of people. <laughs> just about me hating some of the people here. So no, I don't want to stay. Do you want to stay here after high school, or do you plan to go elsewhere? Um, I plan to still stay in California because I think it's just going to be cheaper. Or not necessarily, but it's going to be like, I don't know, I just like California. So I think I'm probably going to stay here, but I'm going to move to like more Southern California instead of like the Bay. I want to get out of the Silicon Valley for sure. What about Southern California is more appealing to you than the rest of, Sil the rest of California? Um, beach. Would you ever consider moving back to Silicon Valley to like raise a family? Um, if I had the money, yeah. <laughs> like I think it's like a good place to grow up. I don't know, we have like a lot of opportunities and it's like really p pretty and safe area to live in for the most part, but it's too expensive. So it depends on my financial um, abilities. If I was a millionaire and I had enough money, yes. For sure. I think that the hills are really nice. Um, I don't know if I would want to live where I live now, though, in Mountain View, because yes, it is really nice, and I'm really grateful to live here, but I don't want to pay, like, three million for 2,000 square feet. That's just outrageous. And I, and, like, once again, I feel like a lot of kids' perception of money here is skewed, and even adults. I remember my uncle poor shaming someone who made 200,000 a year, um, and he, I was like, what, like, I don't know, so, eh, maybe, probably not, though, if I'm rich enough, yeah. What are some challenges that you think are specific to teens in Silicon Valley? I think the pressure is definitely higher here. There's, like, a lot of heavy expectations that I feel like should be worked on as well, so I think, like, Especially academically, people are like pressured a lot to like have so many AP classes and like do a ton of sports. So like, I think that contributes to mental health a lot. A lot of the kids' perception of money here is really skewed, and they. I remember one time sitting at lunch and being told that a hundred thousand a year, so like a six-figure salary, wasn't a lot, and that really like messed with my head because I was so confused about money and what was considered a lot and a little bit because I don't know you always hear like oh six figure salary like you made it but then you hear someone in Los Altos living in their five million dollar house say six figures that's not even livable it was just like oh I feel like kids definitely are going to compare themselves to other kids more than opposed to ones who aren't raised here and also they probably just think that they're dumber which is sad i mean there's like such a culture of intellectuality and that being the epitome of what is valued and what is good that i feel like it kind of puts kids who are like you know some kids just aren't smart that's fine but i feel like that that stress on intelligence is going to mess with you know a lot of kids self-esteem it's okay to be average, but here it's like, <laughs> you cannot be average. Only super prodigies get recognition in any kind of way. So, yeah. Cool. That was great. Thank you. That's Thanks. really